Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the Game Common and we are playing some more Battletech. So yeah, that last mission sucked. So um, I didn't go back and replay it. I decided not to. I decided just to roll with what we had. We had a good faith uh, a fail on that mission. So we still made 200 and something K off of it. Um, I don't know that we suffered anything with the mercenary board, but whatever, whatever. So our next mission, I want to wait a little bit because I want to get both me and Behemoth back. I, I don't think we lost because me and Behemoth were out. I mean, that had nothing to do with it. Really, the game just kind of screwed me um but this next mission is a little bit harder so i just want to advance a couple days um we're gonna pay four hundred twelve thousand. yeah yeah maybe should put some of these mechs in storage i don't know if i really want this many mechs out right now one two three four five six seven eight i mean i guess it allows me to roll uh, back to back so sh yeah sure I mean, 12,000, it's, yeah, it's really kind of insignificant, really. So, okay, we're going to pause it. We're going to go into, you know, hey, hold up. We might have a level now. I didn't think about this. Uh, obviously, I don't think I'm going to because I just would have been getting the passive XP. We could do the indirect. Also, it's going to lower the minimum range. I'm going to grab piloting, which is going to give me more melee hit chance and more unsteady. Well, we were suffering some unsteady, and actually I think we fell that last mission too. So you know what? I will grab the piloting then. That'll be okay. Uh, we can't grab the tactic one, so we'll wait up on that. Behemoth, you have 2800, so once again we can get that indirect fire. I think we we're saving though because we wanted that next tier. Uh, Decker has next to no uh, experience. Uh, Glitch, however, has a ton of experience, so yeah, we want that. Yes, please. I want you to be able to call your shot. What was your other tree you're going in tactics? What was the second tactic one? Commander. Good to go. Plus one initiative and remove a bar stability. Yeah, nah, I think I'd rather have shooting. Yeah, I think I'd much rather have the shooting. Then you only have 920 XP. You have 1300. Where do we want to take you? I think we want you to be guts. Yeah, so let's get you one uh, HP. Because you've kind of been our secondary tank when Behemoth's out, at least recently, and then you don't have any experience. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, hop in contracts. We're gonna go ahead and grab the incomplete intelligence. So it is a base destroy. It's gonna give me a potential ton of money and salvage, so I'm, I'm digging that. I think I would almost rather just get the money. Man. But if we're rolling with heavy mechs, I wanna be able to grab them. So let's keep here getting to the point where we need higher level <laughs> missions just so we can afford everything we're doing so uh okay we want to keep the same mechs trebuchet centurion griffin yes these are definitely the same mechs we want decker you're still going to be there uh we're going to put ourselves in the centurion the trebuchet then is going to be glitch and behemoth is now our tank cool this is our a team let's go ahead and deploy this is a two skull mission which used to scare me. I don't know it's so scary now that I can one hit any mech with our AC-20. So we'll see, we'll see how this mission goes. Our next uh, story priority mission is also two skulls, so we'll see. Okay, so pirate enemies are hiding in restricted munitions in a series of warehouses used to distribute medical supplies. I'd like to make a public accusation that they're hiding munitions, but that would reveal the source of our intel. Instead, we need you to go and do what we cannot, destroy the warehouses. Okay, this could be the pirates using the supplies as cover, but it could also be the magistrate looking for plausible deniability. We'll never learn which. Whatever. I don't care, just point me in the direction you want me to kill. That's all I care. We've been tasked with destroying several structures. Move to the base, start wreckage. Beware of any pirate defenders and additional patrols. So they should have some turrets from uh, the description. Ooh, crap. Wrong buttons, there we go, there we go. Okay, how do we want to approach this? This is the garrison that's out over here on the hill. So we're going to fight the garrison before we actually fight the base. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go ahead and start taking people up here then. Got it. It's a bad line, so we're going to have a little bit of problems with our heat. We didn't see anyone, right? They could still theoretically move into range. That'll be fine. That one's fine. Yeah, do something like that, something like that. And then we'll probably just hop up there next turn with everyone. 
there's no reason to rush this, so I think I'd rather just get ourselves in uh, as good a position as possible. So yeah, let's just take everyone up the hill. We might as well, if we're gonna jump jet, we might as well jump jet as far as we can and get the maximum uh, amount of evasion. And we'll have everyone bracing. So this would actually be a really great time for you know us to spot the enemies. Because <laughs> our evasion is so high and we're all guarded. So I'd love for them to actually get shots on me this time, but it wasn't gonna happen. It was not meant to be. So where did his garrison go? He's still out over there. Okay, okay. We could probably move far enough to get and see them, but let's start with our slower units. Specifically me. Okay, so we see two mechs right now. We have an unknown mech, we have an unknown mech, so we don't have a size on them. Um, we are a little on the exposed side. I think I want to put you all the way up here. Let's actually put you here. Roger. I think I want to hide. Okay, now it's on. We move too far forward. Yeah, we move too far forward, so immediately they spotted us. Well, that sucks. Dang. Crap, I was thinking it wasn't too far forward. So we have a Centurion. And then we still have an unknown mech. The Centurion is guarded but hasn't moved. He shot, so he's gonna not be guarded and or moved. So I think we're gonna hop over here and we're gonna scan this other mech. I think we're gonna shoot him first. Centurion's probably gonna be a little stronger. But I would rather go after someone who's not guarded. And take him out first. Okay, so he moved out of range. So we actually don't have... They don't have range on me anymore. Uh, so it's a Vindicator. We have kind of an awkward angle on him, which is the only downside. And we actually can't even get a shot on him. Hmm... What can I do for ya? So, I don't want her to be able to see this other mech. I'd rather stay exactly where we're at. Yeah. And just hit him from long range. Force him to actually move into range with me. So I think that's a better idea. We're not going to be able to use me and our Centurion, but that's going to be okay. We do have enough long-range missiles. The downside is the guy who has the long-range missiles is Decker, and we kind of already used his missiles. Roger that. Firing on so that's the only downside with this. So I should have potentially sensor locked with... Well, actually, it's only her, him and Glitch. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to move forward, which means I'm probably going to be able to get a shot off. The downside is he just got ridiculous amounts of evasion. Standing by. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> so let's move you down here. And we're kind of covering ourselves from being shot from that other mech. And we're going to do pretty much no damage on this because of the evasion and the guarded, but sure. Target confirmed. Yeah, we tried. So this is what I'm thinking we might be able to do. We should be able to breach in shot. And that's going to ignore guarded problem is I can't get a shot off on this guy it's gonna be 60% chance we have 10 shots <sighs> or what's our other option our other option is we can come shoot this other guy which I don't really like either I hate how he got to go before me. Do so you know what? Let's jump down here. We're just going to delay a turn. Additional enemies detected. And we're going to brace. That sucks. So I have three mechs now. 
I think we're gonna reserve and we're gonna let all three of them go. Got it. Let them move first. They don't have vision on me, so he took his Big Mac first, who didn't have vision, so he wasn't gonna be able to shoot me. Uh, he's probably gonna be able to shoot at Behemoth again. Wow, this is going terribly so far. That shot went internal. Okay, okay. So we've basically taken three shots now and have yet to do anything in response. Luckily, you shot at me, so that's fine. And he's not going to be guarded now, so good luck. All right, you should be dead now. I think our heat's going to be fine. And I think I would like to jump up here as much as possible so I can get a central shot on his chest. Because you're no longer guarded. So, I would very much love just to call a shot here. Unfortunately, we can't one-hit him anymore. But, 33%, that's it. We missed. Oh, we got him, never mind. Okay, there's our one-hit kill. That's what we wanted. So, now we're going to need to focus a lot of damage on him. Standing by. You have a large laser. So, yes... We can also call another shot, which is good. I might want a large laser. Uh, call his center. Maybe. What else do you have? You have an AC-10, which is a little scary. Where's your AC-10 at? Uh, right arm? Yeah, part of me wants to just call this and kill it off. Can we kill it? So if we hit him with the large laser, 85%, and let's say we precision struck you, and we hit you in the center torso, 54%. We're going to do 45 damage there. That's going to leave you with 80 HP left. I don't think we waste it. Because there's no way we get a kill. So I think we just Watch shoot that. and hope. Ow! There you go. And that actually worked out well for us. And most of those shots actually straight up hit his center. So then that means... Waiting on you, Commander. Glitch! Our good friend Glitch can come over here. She can only shoot missiles. Unless we get her over here. We're still only long range missileing. Still only long range missileing. So let's keep you back then. And we'll long range missile. And then the hope is we can get the kill with Behemoth. I kind of wanted to move Behemoth away to get a um, little more, you know, protection, but 68 damage. We would do 80 damage if they all hit. That means we could miss three shots out of 20. I don't know what the odds are of that actually happening. Probably really bad. It's a 54% chance, which means one out of every two would miss. I think we just shoot it. I think we just shoot it. We can't breach in shot. Maybe because he's not in cover. Or maybe because you can't do it with missiles. So, here's the hope. I'm hoping some of those missiles do quite a bit of damage to the center torso. We actually destroyed his left uh, left torso, though. He's also unsteady, so. Alright, you're going to come up here, and you're going to freaking finish him off. Yeah, this should be a finish. We have 45 damage with the AC, plus everything else. Where were you weak, by the way? Because I'd rather you not die, if possible. It's just your arm. Which has the AC5. Which, yeah, none of those are really like, uh oh. 33%, that's it. How much damage? Uh, if we hit with the AC5, you're dead. Crap. And we miss with the missiles. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate. So we miss with the missiles. So we miss with the missiles, and we missed with, um,. Okay, these must be turrets. You got nothing, you hear me? Yeah, these are turrets that are shooting at me right now. Well, that sucks. Those all missed. Okay. Actually, it looked like you took a little bit of damage. So we need to be able to go before him, which we do. Um, we move you up here. We still can't freaking missile shot. 
Oh my god. What about killing with Decker? Receiving you. Eight freaking HP. We we shoot so many missiles right now. Yeah, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move Decker up here. We have so many missiles that we're going to be shooting. Copy that. He should be dead, at least from the missiles, because we only need two of those missiles to actually hit. Then he's no longer going to have vision on me, so he's going to have to move within range. So I just need two of these missiles to hit. We also have that large laser. Worst case scenario, he's getting knocked over. There we go. We got it. Good, 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 good. Tango down. So we do got to worry about these turrets, but not right now. Hopefully he doesn't move within range. Okay, that actually works for us. So go. then, Glitch is the only one that has the ability to... I almost want to just jump up here. I think we're going to jump here because I don't think... Eh... I don't know. I'm trying to put myself in. I think this will be fine. This will be fine. Coordinates received. I, I wanted to put myself behind the rocks so he couldn't shoot me, but this will be fine. So we're going to sensor lock you. And we still have me and Behemoth. Behemoth, remember, actually has the long range missiles. He is. Um, let's actually get you over here. Ooh, can't quite make it. I want your evasion as high as possible, though. Oh, oh, you only have short range missiles. That's right. Hmm. So fine, we'll put you here. Here we go. And the downside is too, so he uh she only has short range missiles. And then me, I only have direct shot weaponry. And I don't think we have anything that will directly shoot him. Because he's behind everything. So we're just going to brace and stay where we are. We're going to get guarded and trenched. And the idea is to let him go first. I want him to move into range. I don't think you moved. Here's the thing. We can actually long range missile now, though. Uh, Glitch, you have 200. You have 200 as well. What can I do for you? They're both the same. Except he does have the long range... I think we're gonna actually sensor lock with glitch again. Got it. Man, I need sensor lock on one of these two guys. I may end up switching our our final uh, group of units. Man, yo, here's the thing. Maybe I give glitch and uh, Arzul. Maybe I switch them uh, because Arzul uh, isn't as good with the sensor lock. So then he can long range missile Ready in like forward. situations like this. This is actually really good though for us because we can also use the large laser. So, the downside is our heat is still a freaking issue. So maybe I shouldn't have done this with you. Nah. What are we gonna hit? Probably a side. It says all over, but most likely it's gonna be this side, which has an AC5. So yeah, let's go for the AC5. Now we hit his, we hit his right, left leg of all things. He's actually guarded. Okay, so we want to, we want to sensor lock with him next time then. If he's gonna sit still. Uh, and then Behemoth, same thing, brace. Roger that, digging in. Just want him to move. I mean, if he's not going to attack us, there's no reason for us to move in and attack him. Because as soon as he gets vision on us, all those missiles have vision on us, too. Shot uh, Decker. And straight up exposed the structure. Wow. Okay. Freaking AC5 did that much damage. Can we talk about this? That seems a little ridiculous. 
Uh, he has three evasion too, because he's a freaking pilot. Why is everyone I face a freaking pilot? That's my large laser. I need to run and hide. I need to run and hide. So something like this? That exposes my right side? I have to sensor lock because he has too much freaking HP. Right, I guess we're gonna do this and we're gonna be completely uh, in a bad position, but I think we'll still be okay. I'm fairly certain we can take him out this turn. That's the other thing, so. Yeah, his, his freaking leg is really hurt. So, can I call a shot? I cannot. But, maybe I can. Can I use my breaching shot? Downside is we're going to get hit by the missiles. No, I can't. Mm, so, I hope that we're going to... Well, if we hit, which we will, we're going to either blow up his left arm or his leg. All right, we got his torso. I'd rather have done the damage on the... What can I do for you? Yeah, that's not really what I'd rather have done, but sure. Really need to be a little further away. Yeah. And this is going to be a pretty nasty shot right now of how much we're shooting at him Commencing alpha strike. actually i think we're gonna be able to knock him out so we knocked over his left torso pretty sure he's gonna get knocked over here yeah behemoth will knock him over and in I fact he'll probably be killed here like i think we're actually gonna be able to get a, a wolverine out of this i actually wonder if maybe we come all the way up here then our ac5 doesn't have the damage I'm just wondering about using this small laser. Does 20 damage. Versus 45 damage for our AC5. Yeah, I think using the AC5 45 damage is worth more. And I'm hoping we can kill him, but I don't think that's going to happen. Eh, maybe if we hit the torso. His torso is at 33 HP, so... Speaking of which... 9%. See, that doesn't make sense because all this is exploded. So we should be able to straight up do it. And I can't... I can call this one. No, I can't. Weird. Whatever, we're just going to shoot. I think we're going to kill him anyways, but... Yeah. I don't know why it said 9%. That seems wrong. That's a kill. Okay, that's perfect because that means the turrets don't have a shot on me yet again. So now we want to start moving forward. And we want to start long ranging these turrets. We know there's one right there. Um, we can get you within sensor range. Got it. And we should have no problem blowing it up with everyone else. May actually have vision on it. No. So hold up. Oh, we sprinted, Brian. You're an idiot. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you're an idiot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. <sighs> the nice thing is, he still doesn't have vision on me, so it doesn't really matter. I can't believe I sprinted. I was so excited I had range. Sensor lock, sensor lock, sensor lock. I've got a sensor lock. How many, how much, how many... I have eight more shots. So this shouldn't be a problem then. Can I get into shooting range of it? So I can't maintain sensor lock on it. Okay. Um, there's certain things about this game that uh, are kind of annoying. This is one of them. So because technically we're not in combat, even though I wanted to engage in combat because they don't have vision on me, I can't sensor lock them. Does that make any freaking sense? Oh, here's the other thing. Everyone's just gonna keep going and going and going and going infinitely. Like what the heck? I don't know what's happening. So can we sensor lock you? Yes, yeah, so now they're actually in the initiative. What the heck? Ugh, so stupid. 
No. What? Why can't we hit it? I don't understand. Well, we're gonna jump you up here, even though I can't do anything, because apparently we don't have range on it? I don't know. You can lock down. Standing Decker, by. Decker can actually shoot. Okay, well, there you go. Ugh, fine. I don't understand, but sure. Nice. Yeah, that large laser is still really good at destroying vehicles and stuff. I just don't get the initiative. Like, why did it, we not get initiative the first time, but the second time we did? Does that make any sense? Uh, let's see. We have a turret over there. We have a turret over there. We could probably avoid fighting either of these turrets. Oh, there's also a turret there. Yeah, brace. What about glitch coming up here and then sensor locking that turret again i freaking ran again mother of hell <laughs> no sprint uh. i copy i stop hitting the wrong buttons sensor lock and then we should be able to theoretically get a kill here with us no because we just restarted the initiative again like what the heck is going on I don't get this. Waiting on you, Commander. Sensor lock. Like, why are we not entering combat? Thank you. Yes, and I think we're gonna do the same thing again. Locking in all weapon systems. He does really good long range damage, so sure. And I'd rather leave my heavy weapons that uh, Arzul has just in case we find ourselves fighting something a little heavier. And then we're just going to move you right to the edge of range. I don't think that turret's going to be able to see me. I copy. And we're probably just going to take a shot at the buildings. I don't know if they're going to have range on me. I don't think they will. On. 150 HP. Geez. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Uh, okay, so we don't have view on anyone. Cool. Uh, Brace. Now, can he shoot me? No. No. Order. Decker! Waiting for orders. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do the exact same thing. Because <laughs> it's working. And then we'll bring Decker up to go Waiting kill his turret. Orders. And you're probably going to need to be the one to sensor lock the next one. Because your HP is getting a little low. Got we're it. somewhat running on missiles too, but I think we're fine. Did we miss? We miss. Hmm. Our large laser missed. I don't know what the percentage Wait, chance was on that, but we definitely missed it. Let's move you up. I think we're just going to AC5 this, because that should kill it. And then we can use uh, me... Because I do a little more damage to actually bring down that tower. So, we have 11 more shots. This will kill it. 90%. As long as we don't miss. Which, you know. 90% is never a guarantee. Uh, okay, so we just get to straight go again. And I don't want to sprint. Oh, is that why that thing was that color? Is because it was the sprint. Okay, that makes more sense. So I don't want to use my AC-20 on this. We do have an enemy contact, but once again, I don't think he can see me. So please turn off. And I... Are we out of combat again? <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, this is weird sometimes. So are you within range to sensor lock, Decker? No. So let's move you up here. That's going to put you within range. Coordinates received. I did do move right, I hope. Sensor lock. Sensor lock. And we're going to go hard on that with glitch. I hate you so much right now, game. 
pay you so much right now, game. All right, well, you know what? Screw you. We're gonna come up here then with glitch. And we're gonna sensor lock you with glitch. Like, why is it reset the initiative? <laughs> oh, yeah, this reset, like, I feel like the AI should never be able, or the enemy should never be able to reset initiative. Otherwise, you get crap like this constantly happening, which is um, really annoying, to say the least. Mostly because uh, we lost the last mission because of, you know, stupid things like this. All right, 85%. Don't miss this time. We missed this time. So we've missed back-to-back 85%ers. Sounds about right. <laughs> I'm not even salty anymore. It's just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what else do you expect? Do you expect me to actually hit these? No, please, please, please. I should really uh, multi-target with me instead, but whatever. Uh, we can still multi-target with me because we'll easily kill this building. Literally, this building's not even standing at this point, so. Ow. Oh. Or anyone can go now because no, we don't want to sprint. I don't want a freaking sprint game. I wonder if it's gonna actually let me shoot this time. It's gonna let me shoot. Cool. All right. So a, we only need to do 15 damage. So put both the U on B. Let's put U on B too. Might as well blow up B as while we're at it. We have eight more shots, so you're dead. That was definitely Shot overkill, but... Enemy structure down. Snap, we might not have needed those lasers. That's one way to kill it. Target building destroyed. Target building destroyed. So we need to destroy one more building. On you, Commander. Uh, I think I'm going to shoot and destroy both, just because I can. So you have 200 HP. Ugh, never mind. You have 150 HP. 25, 50, 75. Yeah, we might just shoot everything we have at you. Got it. And then this should end the mission. Straight away. Because I don't think there's any more. Get your lance to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. No, I'm gonna have to actually get there. That's stupid. Okay, no, no, no. We cleared it. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Well. Unfortunately, we took a little too much damage on that one, but uh, if we're going to go do the main mission, it's going to take a little while for us to get there, so I think I'm okay with this. We're about to get two-star on the mission, uh, the board. Uh, we made 447,000, which, yes, yes, thank you. Um, we took a little bit of damage there, a little bit of damage there. Probably nothing too serious. Luckily, no injuries. Uh, Wolverine, we now have two parts of the Wolverine, and we actually have another uh, Centurion. So, whoop. I don't think I want anything else. Their weapons are kind of terrible. They do have a PPC, but no. No, we'll confirm. They gave us an AC-10, small laser. Sure, sure. So the problem is, because I'm not punching these mechs in the face, I'm just not getting enough salvage, which, you know. Yeah. It's almost, though, like... I don't know. I feel... It's more beneficial just to stay back. Well, whatever. Uh, I think we already have the C9A. I think that's the exact same one we have, correct? Yes. So do we want two of them? I mean, I think I'd rather have two of them versus a Jenner. The Jenner is kind of worthless. Or hell, even the Panther. Why do we have a Panther? Oh, because it's a PPC. We could always re-equip you with a PPC. Yeah. Well, first, let's go ahead and repair these two. So 600 one day. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's fine. And then 2700 one day. Okay, I think we're good with that. So I think next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hop in and we're going to do the liberation because both of these are tra uh, to travel. It's going to give me 1.1 million. It's not a lot of money. Um, indirect fire capabilities, at least a moderate level of mobility. So indirect fire capabilities is going to be a lot of long range missiles. Do we have those long range missiles right now? The problem is, okay, so maybe this is what we want to do. I may want to switch up my mech, and I hate to say this, 
because he's so freaking high damage but maybe instead I need to put long range missiles on him or the other option is we could because we want long range missiles definitely We could refit this one. I just don't think I want to take, like, if we fight any mechs, I want to use me. I want to use that AC-20. And the thing is, I could re-equip me so I have long-range missiles instead, but... With long-range 10, with three of these. I could just go so heavy with this guy right now. All long range missiles. Get rid of the lasers. Actually, maybe keep the AC 10. Get rid of. Actually, well, hold on. How much is the AC 10? 60, right? So we could do something like this and then do heavy long range missiles. That would be a lot of freaking, <laughs> that would be 30 missiles. I don't know. I don't know. I'll spend some time thinking about it. I almost kind of like this Centurion as is, though. He is pretty freaking efficient because uh, he does have the long range missiles. Maybe that's better than the trebuchet right now. You have one long range missile. No, you have two long range missiles. He only has one long range missile. But then the AC-10. So no, the trebuchet is better right now. I think I'm definitely going to go ahead and sell the Jenner. Is there any reason to hold on to this Jenner right now? Because it's quick. You can jump quick. Nah. 264,000. Yeah. I'm almost the same way with the Panther too. But it has the PPC and I might want that PPC. So um, we're definitely going to roll. I need to roll with me because I need that AC-20. I need to do 100 uh, damage. And like I said, I think we'll keep the trebuchet for sure. The question is, maybe instead of the Shadowhawk, I should put um, Behemoth then in our other Centurion because of the long-range missiles. At 680 armor, I don't know what this one armor total is when it's done. It's a little heavier too. But And then we definitely want to keep that Griffin because he has so many long-range missiles, and then also uh, the long-range laser, but specifically for those missiles. So, anyways, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, come in, show your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.